YouTube is full of videos on how to get into ZS, but there are a lot more important questions that you must ask before joining a company than just how to get into it. So today I bring to you the four most underrated, should be most frequently asked questions about ZS that no one has answered yet on the internet all in one place, including the best office, the best track, exit opportunities, and growth within the firm. Let's get right into it with the first most underrated question that should be asked about ZS, but isn't, which is the best office location? If you've seen my video on the five little known facts about ZS, link up top, you will know that there are five offices of the firm within India. If that confuses you, I highly recommend you go watch that video to clear all your confusions. But often I get asked, Adil, I've been given the option to choose between the three different cities that ZS is in. Which one should I choose? Unfortunately, the answer to that question is not simple. But what I'm about to tell you is a framework for you to choose which office would be the best fit for you if you are given the option. I will be taking a few basic assumptions here which are one, you want to be in consulting. Number two, you want to grow within consulting, including the possibility of moving abroad through the firm. Number three, you don't have any particular geographical preferences in mind. With that being said, it's important to know that ZS in itself is almost like a startup. The collaborative nature and the fast-paced culture is not unlike a startup that needs to get a lot done and often pivot very quickly. But not just the entire firm, each of the offices in each of the cities are almost like a mini startup within a startup. But my point is, by joining an upcoming office, you get to be part of the first few that decide the future of the entire space. That often includes on-site opportunities and the chance to be part of your respective teams from the ground up. So long story short, my recommendation would be to join the Bangalore office. Why? Because it's still relatively smaller compared to the Pune and Gurgaon offices. With only a few hundred employees compared to the few thousand in Pune and Gurgaon probably get the opportunity to not only be the first few to build the office from the ground up, but the likelihood of you getting the opportunity to grow within the team and within the firm would be slightly higher than Pune and Gurgaon. The onshore teams will invariably expand as the office expands and who else but the original employees of the offshore team would get the opportunity to move abroad. Now let's talk about the second most underrated, not talked about, but should be the most frequently asked question about ZS that no one on the internet has answered yet but I am answering for you today. Which track should you join? This is another question that I do get a few times that other I'm joining as a business technology analyst or strategy insights and planning analyst or a business operations associate. What do we do and how is it different than all of the other tracks? Now ZS mainly has five tracks. Decision analysts, business operations, business technology, data science and strategy insights and planning. We do have other roles and job descriptions that we hire for but these five are mainly the ones that have the largest volume. Now, I do want to give you a big disclaimer. My experience in ZS was as a decision analyst associate for three years. That means the information that I have about all of the other tracks is secondhand. I'm not the most credible person that you should look to about any role apart from a decision analyst associate. But that being said, since I was part of the company and have always been curious and proactive to know what the company does, I do know enough to guide you in the right direction so you are in a better position to go and research about it yourself. I'll talk about the four tracks, briefly describing their job description and overlay my experience of being an ex -ZSer to help you get a better idea of what exactly it is that each role does. Number one, data science. Now, data science is by far the highest paid track within the firm. That's primarily because we hire from top tier colleges like IITs and BITS. And often, even for an associate level, we hire people with at least a master's and even at times a PhD. Data science folks primarily work on solving problems around large data sets using advanced algorithms efficiently. That may include statistical techniques, data mining, hypothesis testing, machine learning to solve key business questions. Number two, decision analysts. Now, decision analyst people are the ones that work heavily on the analytics. You will be working a lot with statistics, quite a bit of number crunching, gaining insights about your client's business from large amount of data and making targeted recommendations about how and what things can improve for that particular business question. Number three, business technology. Business technology roles are geared more towards the tech side of things often even involving internal ZS initiatives. This might include development methodologies, for instance, agile or waterfall, and things like quality assessment, unit testing, and mid-development client reviews. 
Now I said all of that and I honestly have no idea what it means. So I did do a quick Google search and this seems to be something related to app development or things like creating software for particular solutions. To be very honest and transparent, I have never met someone who is in a BT role and I have never interacted with them even while at my time at ZS. So my knowledge of this role is possibly the most limited out of all the four tracks. Number four is business operation. In my experience, BO roles usually work with processes that are repetitive in nature and often often crucial to businesses because these are the constant feedback loops that you need in order to take business decisions throughout the year. Now the last one is strategy insights and planning. It involves a lot of strategic thinking. This is more to do with knowing the domain, knowing what the business question is, the historical trends, understanding your clients needs in and out to provide strategic recommendations in order to help clients solve key business questions. From a technical standpoint, SIP roles usually don't involve a lot of analytic work. Yes, you do analytics usually only when with Excel and some ZS proprietary softwares. These roles are more involved in the ideation of how problems need to be solved. If you like brainstorming, market research, collecting data, then formulating hypotheses, this is probably the best role for you. Let's talk about the third most underrated, should be a frequently asked question that no one on the internet has answered about ZS yet except me today, which is what are the exit opportunities like? ZS has quite a hefty brand name. Now generally people go down three routes after they exit ZS. One, pursuing their higher education, either that could be in India or the US. Two, laterally shifting to a similar domain and analyst type roles within a similar consulting company like one of the big four. And the last one is something that I did, which was a total 180. In one of my upcoming videos, I talked to one person from each of these subcategories to hopefully give you an unbiased, holistic perspective of what it looks like to exit ZS and where all you can possibly go. So do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to not miss that upcoming video. But to answer your question shortly, the exit option opportunities in ZS are quite amazing. A quick LinkedIn search about ex-ZS employees will yield countless results about people who are in reputed MBA colleges, amazing consulting firms, or even cutting edge startups. Now four, and the last most underrated, but should be most frequently asked question about ZS that no one on the internet has asked. I mean, you get the point. What is growth in ZS like? Now, this is probably my favorite. Growth in any field, not just ZS, was probably one of those questions that I never even thought about. Heck, even until I joined ZS. From my previous video, you'll know that ZS has six total levels. But if you haven't watched that video and don't want to support high quality consulting content and don't want me to be monetized, let me give you a recap. The six levels at ZS are an associate, an associate consultant, consultant, manager, associate principal, and principal. The progression between each of these levels is on average two to two and a half years. It is pretty amazing to realize that you could potentially become the partner at a billion dollar company in less than 15 years, meaning you could be earning about eight figures by the time you're in your early to mid 30s. There's a lot that you have to sacrifice to go from even an A to an AC. But with that being said, the growth at least each level in terms of compensation is around 1.5 to 2x. Now, I may be totally wrong, but from my estimates and from what I've talked to with my friends and my own salary over the three years that I was there, this seems to be the general trend. Now, mind you, it's not an instant 2x increase. Your salary increases every year to account for inflation and of course, it's a big factor of your performance for that period of time. And that's it. Those are the four most underrated but should be most frequently asked questions about ZS that no one is answering but me on Yan Central exclusive. But you get the point. I hope you like this video. If you're new here, I'm Adil Verma, an ex-ZS associate who left his job to do content full-time. And I'm doing this series of videos on ZS to help you get a better idea of what it is like working for the firm and also talk more about consulting in general than just how to get into it and how much you are paid. Because I do believe that working in a company 10 to 12 hours a day involves you taking into account things that are more than just money and status. If you like this video, do drop a like and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be uploading one video about ZS every Saturday at 10 a.m. And do comment down below what other questions you might have that I can answer. Also, you can connect with me on LinkedIn because I post every day about my journey going from a management consultant to being a full-time creator. And you can click on the link in the description for you to book a call directly with me all for free. That's it for today's video. I hope you liked it and I'm going to see you next week. Gyan Batao, Gyan Batao. Peace.